Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hey, I'm back. Hey, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the podcast is late tonight because as I was talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I started talking about uh, Witches of East End, and I got the two shows mixed up because of the uh, Norse mythology. Uh, for, forgive me, forgive me. Um, okay, anyway, listen. Tonight's episode was episode number seven of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It was called Repairs. Um, there's a mysterious force that's threatening Agent Coulson and the team, and something from May's past is able to uh, save them. Um, what we get to see is the relationships between the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. growing tremendously. Uh, there are two agents that are sleeping with each other. I'm not going to spoil that because I think it's just good comedy. And... Um, <laughs> It's definitely unexpected. I, I didn't. I did. I saw something coming, but I didn't know they were gonna go all the way. Okay, let's move on. Um, <laughs> tonight's episode had a um, an event that took place. Pretty much, um, there was this lady that bad things would happen all around her, and uh, some event happened inside of a town. And it ended up killing um, um, some people that the town really looked up to. I guess you could say heroes of the town. And the town pretty much rebelled against uh, the lady. And pretty much just tried to call her a witch or whatever. And, you know, stake her and, and burn her or whatever. And they were treating her pretty bad. Anyway, um, the um, Agent Colson gets a call. Says, hey, we got a mission. He starts ringing up the rest of the squad. They go down to this town. There's this lady there. And then all of a sudden, man... Uh, <laughs> you know, hell breaks loose. This cop car, out of nowhere, just starts driving and tries to run over people. Agent Phil Coulson saves the dude that was about to be killed, and then they take the lady girl that has these serious issues, um, and they take her up into the, uh, you know, the shield plane. Um, prior to that, she was at a gas station, and it was this pretty cool scene, man, showing how, uh, the, you know, the special, using the special effects of, uh, of, of Marvel Cinematic Universe, and now the television universe, and uh, they show this pretty awesome um, uh, gas uh, station explosion. It was, kind of, it was just kind of cool. I really, really like that one. Um, what they're using still is the technology, I guess you can say, from Thor: The Dark World, which is kind of cool. I guess because of maybe they, maybe they kind of, I don't know if they wrote this stuff before Thor: The Dark World. But I, get, I think they're playing off the success of that movie. Um, not so much playing off the success of, of Iron Man 3, and I think that that's because that movie um, didn't do well. Um, obviously, you know, money-wise, financially, it did excellent. Um, but I think that the, the studios are steering clear of that bad boy. But they're definitely playing um, into this whole Thor the Dark World, and every element inside that uh, universe is inside of um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's still, they're still talking about it. And that's kind of cool, man. Uh, you have this shape-shifting dude, and what I mean by that is, I, should, I guess I could say, dimension-shifting dude. He was switching through dimensions and going into the um, Asgardian dimension and then coming back into our reality, and he was in love with this uh, girl. It was uh, either her brother or um, our, our boyfriend, one of the two. I wasn't really paying that much attention to it, just because <laughs> it was it was a very bad episode, man. Um... But let me just talk about the good things. Once again, man, the visual effects, the special effects, the CGI, it was amazing. They did a really, really good job. And I think they, if they continue on that, I'll continue watching. I'm not watching right now for the dialogue. I'm not watching right now for the story. Um, it's just not there. And um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I think that if, if they do get renewed for Season 2, I think they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna improve on that. Um, the team is finally coming together, they're working together as, as one unit, and uh, we still don't know, after this episode, for some reason, we still don't know what's going on with uh, Agent Phil Coulson. We do know that there was a symbol on the back of a watch that he used inside of this episode. Don't know what that means, but we'll just have to tune in uh, next week and continue tuning in to the season finale to find out. Uh, once again, Man Repairs was the episode... The episode rating, man, two out of five stars. Uh, if you missed it, you really didn't miss that much, man. Um, no real big information to really report because, once again, no update on Agent Phil Coulson. And I'm going to go ahead and put that inside of the uh, titles. So if you don't listen to this podcast, you're really not missing out on anything either. So, yeah, we're out of here, guys. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.